We have plenty of stuff for taking out this big daddy. Four proximity mines. Mess lit of RPG rounds. Yeah, this should go well. So I'm gonna put... Like so. A couple heat-seeking RPGs. And... Fires and missiles! Electric buckshot. No, thank you. Oh, he got my turret, but that's okay. Hello, little girl. When you might have shown your cruelty, I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. Fantastic. I was hoping for that. Alright. So we are going to get a teddy bear in oh, the mail. I'm ready for dream time, Mr. Bubbles. And, uh... Lily Puppy! And living there is the Lily Pup! Can, can you move? Can you move? I need to get past you. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, 200 atom and 12 electric buckshot. That was something I did need. Difficulty when hacking safes and combat locks. Uh, store and gene bank for now. What we can do, is since we've got 280 freaking stuff, we can grab a lot of these um, physical tonic slots and whatever else. Eh. Combat. Um, go ahead and place that one in. I think we need to insert save cracker. Yeah, there we go. So that's a lot, and that's going to be helpful. So now we can buy Eve Saver, or Vending Expert, I suppose. We can switch Vending Expert. What's Security Expert do? Okay, that's difficulty, speedy hacker, flow speed. Um, hmm. Reduces fire prices in vending machines. I think I actually want to take that one over speedy hacker. I just gotta be a little bit quicker when I'm doing my thing from now on. Um, and I'm gonna replace medical expert with Eve Saver. That should be a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's good. Any really cheap stuff we can get? No? Okay. But, uh, yep. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, hey, we have a puddle of oil here. That could be helpful. And... Uh, light you on fire! Nope. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Super kiting action engage. Let's see how much got anti personnel at. I don't know, that's not really helpful. I've got a heck of a lot of electric buckshot now, that might actually be good. Um but I'm trying to see here what else I can use to take this big daddy out with. Oh, hang on. Let me let me be smart this time. There's no shame in saving every time you take out a big daddy on this difficulty. Whoa! Shit. Oh, I know what we could do. We could kite him to the... Or we could just not kite him at all because he doesn't want to be kited. Excuse me! Coming through. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could just bring him down here. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bring you down here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, turret. You're my only hope, buddy. Come on. Get him, turret. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a close one. That was a close one, guys. I almost didn't have it. I'm going to take pictures of this little sister for a harvester, because I keep forgetting to do that. And I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no. This is purely for research. Purely. And you are a disgusting person for thinking of that. No probs. So that's actually both big uh, daddies taken care of in this level already. Um, I kind of got lucky with uh, my placement. <sighs> I could have used that explosive, explosive barrel. Oh god! Oh no, I'm going to start doing that again. Okay, I, 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 need to, I need to be careful. I need to be careful and think think before I do this, and I'm going to save it so I don't accidentally blow myself up again. Because he put proximity mines pretty much everywhere in this entire little dealio here. So we need to just kind of be watching out. Because there's a proximity mine right there. Oh, there's one right there too. Ugh. So I'm going to spend the rest of this level dodging these two proximity mines, I suppose. Okay, I think I need another engineering tonic. I think that's engineering. Yeah, I need to get that. And that leaves me with... What kind of... Hmm. What kind of stuff do I got? Because I kind of... I, I don't really want um, static discharge so much. But I guess it's better than nothing. It's better than anything else I could get. So I guess I could go ahead and leave that. I don't... I don't know. I'm not going to be engaging any more big daddies up here just yet, so I think I'm safe as far as that's concerned. Son of a bitch, really? I'm just going to go and set that one off. That, that's an unavoidable one. Ugh, stupid big daddies. Let's put proximity mines right in the middle of the road so you can't get past them. Okay. Before I go down there, um, I'm going to go find a vending machine really quick and get some more health kits because I am dangerously low. And I have a lot of money, so I might as well just buy a few of them. This big daddy literally threw these things everywhere. He had a fit. With all these. Oh, sweet. I'm glad I didn't break that earlier. That should be exactly fine. That's, a, that's one. Can I get any more around here, you think? Anti-personnel auto rounds. Um, um, eh. I think we're good. As long as I have more than one first aid kit, I think I'm fine. So let's mosey on through here. We need to actually get to the Rapture Metro Station now that we've cleared pretty much all of Arcadia. So we can get on with it. Go beat Andrew Ryan's head in. Whack. 
whack, whack, whack. I love sport boost. I'm glad I got that plasmid. But, uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, wait. What's going on? Yeah, the cult of the Saturnine is pretty much a bunch of frat boys. You trifle with the Saturnine! I trifle with the fraternity of plasmid junkies. That is all I do. But let's see if you can give me a level, Mr. Splicer. Can you give me a level, or am I gonna have to find another one of you? Whack. Unamused! Unamused. So, Rapture Metro is now closed, I believe. We can't get through there anymore because of the outbreak and the fact that Ryan has decided to completely kill Rapture. Just to kill us. So, if uh, you needed any, indi any indication if he was insane or not, um, that should give you a pretty modest clue. So, let's take some pictures. Pictures, 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 pictures. This photographer's eye uh, plasmid that I picked up is going to be really handy. For that. Whack, whack. Probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Eh, not going to bother. So let's head through here and talk to the good doctor. My trees! It wasn't you, was it? No. Ryan. I think I've got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... Oh, look who I'm talking to. Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look in the grotto. I've got to keep working while there's time. We're not really on a timer, that's just kind of a thing they're saying. This was up. And this looks like a little bit of an ambush, but ambush to me oh. actually means, um, super happy, let's take a lot of pictures time. Might be able to get my thuggish splicer level all the way up. One can hope. This is going to be a lot of photos, guys. I apologize. Which reminds me, I need to find a vending machine and get some more film. Oh, splicers are so ridiculous. So silly. So silly. I thought that was a body for a second. Hmm. Already been there. So we need to go back to the waterfall grotto really quick. And, uh, do stuff. But I guess we could swing in here really fast, even though I don't have any health at all. Seems like a great idea, right? <laughs> Moo. Oh, 
Oh! <laughs> yeah, this is what happens with active camouflage sometimes. Bonk. Bonk. And re-stealth. But we're not. You dead? Yes, you're dead. Awesome. That's what happens. What happens? Sometimes you cloak and someone's set to spawn right behind you. And by the time they spawn, they don't see you anymore, so they just kind of stand out there for a second, and they're like, Oh, where did he go? Even though they just kind of saw you disappear right where you're standing. Active Camo does a lot of weird things to this game. And I'm not even sure if it's Active Camouflage. I don't remember what it's called. But it reminds me of the thing from Halo, and that's why I call it that. Is that a health kit? Awesome. 